guest is a broadcasting legend. Yes, and it's not interviewing Teresa right here. Oh, we recently funny. spoke to this gentleman about his recently published memoir and his acclaimed list of friends, including his connection to David Letterman. Take a look. Here with me today in studio, Barry Zivan. Welcome here to CT Style. Thank you. Well, wonderful to be here. Have to uh, first thank you for driving 1,300 miles to come here to the CT Style studios. Greatly appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. This is, this is exciting because you, you've had quite the illustrious career in television. How did it all start for you? Well, it started for me really for television in 1946, two years before the U.S. got television. New York City had 600 television sets, and I had been a contestant on a CBS radio program uh, called Give and Take with Bill Cullen as the announcer, and uh, Bill is from my hometown, Pittsburgh, but mm -hmm. anyway, uh, after the radio show, they asked my mother, can, can we have your son be on television tonight? We didn't know what television was. Right. This was two was years only. before the U.S. got television, so I was on the first regularly scheduled TV show, and they used me as a fun kid to just do some funny yeah. stuff. And, uh, and uh, then, uh, as I say, the, the rest is history. You, you eventually made your way to be a, uh, a TV weatherman, yep. and you have a connection with David Letterman because uh, some people may not know, he also was a weatherman in Indianapolis. Yes, he was, and uh, he somewhat gave me credit for him being where he wound up. Because, really? <laughs> yes, it's a pretty long story. Uh, we don't have much time, but uh, indeed, he was going to audition to be a weatherman in Minneapolis, and I was already there, but he didn't know I had just given my notice to go to Washington, <laughs> D.C. And so he called the station one night and said, I don't want to compete with this guy, so I'm going back to Indianapolis no and, and do stand up. Yeah. And we've become uh, good acquaintances. Good friends. Since, uh, it's, yeah. it's, it's funny how the world works in that way. But oh. I mean, you've, you've had quite the career yourself. As, as you skim through the book, which you guys have to get, uh, you'll see just uh, pages and pages of all the people that you've met and interviewed. Does, does somebody stand out for you most? Uh, not only interviewed, I, I've been blessed. I became part of their lives, and they become part of mine. I mean, we had real relationships in their homes and on vacations and everything else. Gregory Peck was the, was the number one. He was, he, and in the book, there's a wonderful picture of him and me and he signs it from from your partner Greg Peck and uh, just just the classiest act you could ever imagine how, how do you think the industry of showbiz has changed maybe from when you started to today with with technology and everything like that well that, that's what really does it in my opinion I mean technology uh, has taken over I mean we watch our televisions on, on our iPhones mm -hmm. and it's it, it boggles the mind is what it yeah. does uh, in fact I just heard Sam Donaldson this morning uh, on radio saying Sam has hosted uh, three of the documentaries that I've produced, and uh, he was talking about uh, uh, the fact that the conventions these days are are just not, you know, it, everything is totally different. Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's all hard about the describe. entertainment, right? That's right. How about uh, two other quick things? Uh, the the peekaboo. That was kind of your yeah. shtick. Tell, can, can you give us a little example what the oh, yeah. peekaboo would be or in the situation yeah. you would use it? The, sure. The first weather cast I ever did, mm -hmm. I was looking at the board and I thought, it's rude. You're supposed to look at your audience. So I'm writing on the board and then I go right back at the camera <laughs> and I keep going back like that. Yeah. And the news guy across the, the room started laughing. Yeah. Then the boss called. He said, you, you do that for the rest of your life. You'll make a lot of money. And, and that's what you did, <laughs> huh? Peekaboo Weatherman. Yeah. Look at that. It, making that connection yeah. with the viewers. And seems, I want to say, important. Jerry Stiller urged me to write this book. Mm -hmm. uh, Jerry and I have been friends for many, many years. He and Ann, of course, Ann died last year. But yeah. uh, uh, in the front of the book is, thank you, Jerry Stiller, for urging me to write this book. And he gave me permission to do that. But he, he said, people have to know this incredible life that you've had. I mean, I've worked for the Shah of Iran, for Howard Hughes, wow. uh, uh, did films in Iran <laughs> when Iran was safe. And it just, um, uh, I, you know, it's impossible to describe. It's very unpredictable. Uh, so people uh, hopefully will go to barryzivan.com or amazon.com. Look at that. We, we are in the presence of greatness, people. Make sure you guys check Come out on. the book, of course, <laughs> on Barry's website and on amazon.com. Barry, thank you again for joining us here today on CT Style. And thank hopefully you. the 1,300 miles back home is a little shorter than coming here. We'll try to do that. All right. <laughs> should, should we do a peekaboo for people at home? Sure. Let's see. I have to do it this uh, way. Okay, turn. What? Where? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what camera. Any camera. Who knows? We don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Thank